Hey guys, Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World and the Off Grid Project. Been a slow day. I worked three hours on the videos and the articles today. So uh, it was a lot of work. Long time invested in articles and the video work. But uh, the, um, the article pages is part of my income, so you know I've got to do the work. And uh, I like diversi diversify my sources of income. Therefore, the time has to be invested on that, and that is work. That's work done and uh, something accomplished with my day. And then I spent some time sorting out electronics in the wood shop, in garage, and other things around the house. And now, I'm working on a massive slab, a real 2x12 piece of wood, which I'm going to make into a um, end table next to the couch in the chalet. It's going to have a bookshelf on top, because we don't have any storage in there. So, I'm going to bring this big beast out and cut off the bad end and I'm eyeballing it here because I don't have my T-square and what I'm going to do is run this on the table saw in the end anyway so um because I'm not as good free handing so I definitely definitely want to make sure that I cut this properly on the table saw and get a perfect straight edge and then it's going through the planer my hearing protection. It's a bad mistake. Take this big boy into the wood shop and bring him down to size. Okay, I've roughly cut this with the circular saw, the hand saw. Now, I'm trying to get square edges over here. And the final cut with the table saw. Now I'll make the cut on the table saw.
I've got pretty decent cut and now I'll do the next one to make three exact same pieces. So first I rough sand it on each side and then I decide which side is going to be the face, the top face of each board. I sort of let the wood speak to me and um, the wormholes to me give it character. So I am looking for the piece with more character, colors, variations. I tried to run these through the planer but they're really badly warped here and by the time I'm done straightening it out it's going to be too thin. So that's just going to have to be. And it's also rough cut lumber. So when it went through the sawmill, he had a hiccup here and it went higher. So I have to, I, on the first board, I was taking way, way, way too much wood off. And it just wasn't ever going to come out. So here there aren't any wormholes. And um, it's indented downwards here, deeply in the middle. So this is going to be my top. I can sand it a little bit more flush that way. This will be the bottom, the inside of the, the end table, which will have a small cabinet underneath. So I want to clean it and get any uh, filth off there just to make sure it's safe and clean. Now here I'm going to finish this one up on the top surface, leaving a little bit of gray and a little bit of uh, darkness in there as I go along. over my boards and I'm going to fine sand them because right now they're, this is a 80 grit I think and then I'm going to figure out which goes where but I think this is going to be let me see this is a nicer piece probably this will be the front of the table it's still strong this being the middle now these are not going to mesh perfectly because they are so warped but it is going to be a uh, a little bit rustic. Let me get the other piece. This is the piece I was trying to plane, which just wasn't working out. And uh, when I'm done, I'm going to sand the edges so they're all flush and even. Uh, and this will obviously show up better what's going on when I get it on a uh, flat surface. Well there's the tabletop so far. So what I've got here is a sloped 
side wall. Oops, sorry about the wind there blowing that thing around. We've got a sloped side wall. Alright, this is the upright. Now, this is a, a storage box underneath. And we're going to have a back piece. So I'm sp just spacing this out for, for feel here. All right? And in the front, um, get this upside down. This will be like this. Um, yeah. And in the front, we'll have a, obviously a board like that closing in the storage box. All right? Sloped. So it gives a little bit of a nice appearance from the front. A little bit of a design. Nothing fancy, but a little bit of a pattern there. You know? So. I've got the two side walls. Now I've got to make the uh, end pieces of the box. Now what I have here, I piece this together on a pallet like this, is a cabinet underneath. This doesn't matter, because I'm going to have a lip here to hold, to grip the, uh, the door, or the uh, thing with. Whoops! <laughs> that didn't look right. So, there will be a box like this. I don't want to stand up, be a storage box underneath with a lift up lid so that there will be a hinge on there. Lift that up and access everything underneath and then I'll have a bookshelf on this section here which will be another project for the next day because this is going to take the last of my daylight hours to finish this. So now I've got to sand all those pieces and choose which is front, back, inside, outside for best looks and appearance and yeah, so on to sanding. Okay guys, here is the box. I have put it together. I sort of counter -sunk, sunk a little bit and put uh, two screws in each corner. Now, I think to hide the screws on the top, thinking about running boards in here, and then screwing in from underneath and then put the bottom of the drawer on and that'll hide the screws from the top so there's no holes whoops I always make my camera out of focus that where there will be no holes in the um, top of the cabinet right now I'm cutting the legs I'm going to cut to the length to the height and then I'm going to split it on the uh, table saw
I've got my speed square down inside, so I am squaring this off. Certainly don't want this looking bad. my rough sun wormhole filled legs which I like I think it's cool some people don't now it's probably overkill but I'm gonna put a screw in each of the back legs now the top is yet not yet fastened by the way just you know you see that fell off down in the center here, in the back of the leg, just for more strength. There's going to be a bookshelf on top of this, so it's going to have some weight on it in the back. There we go. So now we have the better part of a table put together here. Okay, now what I've got to do is put in the bottom of the shelf. So, the next step is going to be to uh, put inserts in here. So I'm going to put a, a recessed board along in here and then I think I'm going to want to drop the shelf in from the top onto it. I'm going to give that some consideration because it is going to have to hold the weight. I was going to put a recess and nail the board from the bottom in. That wouldn't be as wise. It would be better to put it from the top down. So I'm going to put a little lip of wood on here and here and then drop the boards in for the shelf. Hope you can see what I'm doing. I'm putting a little strip of wood in here to hold the shelf. strip here and here so I've got to find some pieces here I think I might just rip some yeah I'm just gonna rip a piece on the uh, saw a piece of scrap that fits in here I uh, salvaged some scrap wood the other day I think I mentioned that to y'all perfect yep I'll rip some pieces off that oh that's thinner not perfect. Oh well, I'll just have to cut it right. Okay. Alright, whatever. It's got to be the right thickness. So I'll rip this off on the table saw, put some here and here, and then I'll probably put a cross board in between where the uh, two pieces of wood are going to overlap, which you'll see when I get there. Well guys, I'm running out of light. But uh, 
there it is. I have to hinge the lid tomorrow. And then there's the shelf down underneath. We'll get back to this in the morning and then build the bookshelf for it. Right now I'm going to put it in the uh, living room where it goes and see how it looks. Well, there it is, right in its hole where I made it to fit. Uh, we have a very narrow spot there, and then I'm going to put the bookshelf here in the corner. So we got some, we don't have any bookshelves in this place, so that'll help a lot. And then I can sit here on the couch, lift up, grab any gear I need, close it back up, and uh, I can work on my laptop here or whatever. So there it is, guys, for now. I still have to do a finish on it and uh, secure up that shelf a little bit. Baby cat likes it, don't you? Well, a well, piece of furniture added to the house. I'm going to round off the edges too later on. A little bit of finishing to do yet. Some sanding and rounding and, and finish, uh, put a finish on it. But I think I like it. It's going to work. It's going to do what I need. Alright guys, um, we got a package in the mail, so let me set the camera back up. That'll be it for tonight. Alright guys, I'm going to let Melanie open a package. Like little winter boots? Yeah, look at that. Little winter boots. Oh, Melanie. They're nice and warm looking too, huh? Thank you. Well, thank you, whoever sent it. I don't see a note, so thank you very much. That's really cute. They look warm. Yeah, they're nice. <laughs> nice. Well, she'll be with us soon, guys. Very soon. Uh-oh, my camera lost its focus. There we go. All right, everybody, Troy and Melanie from the Do-It-Yourself World and the Off-Grid Project, building furniture today. Good night.